you often hear them before you see them. They have that buzzing sound. Bombus is the name of the genus, Bombus, and if you, it's almost an automatopoeia. You know, it's that Bombus. And, and it actually means loud or bumbling. In the late 1990s, um, some researchers began to have concerns about bumblebee populations. There are, uh, in North America, about 4,000 species of bees that are native. And what that means is that they were here before Europeans came uh, and, and brought honeybees with them. One of the things I always, you know, I talk to my family about, I say, oh yeah, bumblebees are declining. The first thing they say is, but I saw a bumblebee in my garden yesterday. Yeah, you probably did, because uh, there are some that are doing great. We're interested in the ones that aren't doing great and why they're not. Somewhere between a quarter and a third of North America's bumblebees are facing um, some degree of extinction risk. But the decline that we've seen in the rusty patch bumblebee is fairly unique. A once common animal has become incredibly rare. In early 2013, we filed a petition um, with the Fish and Wildlife Service to have the rusty patch bumblebee listed as an endangered species. The leading hypothesis for the decline in the rusty patch bumblebee is that pathogens have likely led to those declines. Nosema bombi is a, a, it's a, a microsporidium parasite, which is um, it's a tiny little spore. The bees eat it. It goes into their guts and in, into their uh, hemolymph, which is their, their blood. There's a lot of speculation that Nosema from the commercial bumblebee industry got out into the wild and it spread. I am very confident that, that Nosema has played some role in the decline of rusty patch bumblebee. Early on, I said, we need more data, we need more data, and um, we didn't know what was going on. Well, we've gathered the data, and we've presented that to uh, Fish and Wildlife Service. Look, you get the evidence in front of you, and here's the, it's, it's stark. It's very stark for the rusty patch bumblebee. So we strongly believe that, that the rusty patch bumblebee needs protection here in the United States to continue to survive and thrive throughout its historic range. A listing could really be a benefit to a lot of species, not just the rusty patch bumblebee. You can imagine that if we restore native habitat, other things that need that native habitat, frogs, birds, uh, all those things get a benefit. We get a benefit because native habitat is often places we like to be, parks and things like that. When things get listed on, under the Endangered Species Act, there's always going to be pushback. People ask me, why is that species important? I always get that question. In the case of the rusty patch bumblebee, there are very few people that have really even seen the species in the wild. But I still think it's valuable. People are just now becoming aware of the, the plight of the rusty patch bumblebee, the plight of all these other critters out there that, are, that have six legs um, and aren't like us. The practical part of me says that, that losing the rusty patch has not a lot of impact, but certainly philosophically we should rage against this uh, idea that, that we can just give up one species and it's okay. I think it, it shows two sides of, of humanity when we get into these conservation issues. And the one is that sort of self-serving, selfish human side, which is like, it's not helping me right now, I don't need it. And then that other side, which is like, we have some duty to stewardship of the earth and, and that's what we have to do.